The town of Grindavik in Iceland faces a renewed evacuation due to volcanic gas emissions raising concerns of a possible eruption. Residents were allowed to briefly return to Grindavik on Tuesday, only to be evacuated again. Despite no current signs of an eruption, the presence of gas suggests magma is near the Earth's surface. The town's populace was evacuated once more following the detection of elevated sulphur dioxide levels. This decision was made after sensors reported these increased levels, hinting at potential volcanic activity. The Iceland Meteorological Office has been closely monitoring the situation, having installed new gas meters in Grindavik. These meters recorded high sulphur dioxide levels, leading to the precautionary evacuation. The situation in Grindavik remains precarious, as indicated by the Department of Civil Protection and Emergency Management. The region faces risks of large cracks and potential fire outbreaks. Recent footage from Grindavik shows significant cracks developing in local roads. Seismic activity has also been significant, with around 700 earthquakes recorded in the area, including a magnitude 3.1 at Hagafell. The earthquakes have predominantly been along the magma tunnel, with depths ranging from 1.86 to 3.1 miles. Land deformation in the region continues, aligning with ongoing magma movement beneath the surface. The earthquakes have predominantly been along the magma tunnel, with depths ranging from 3 to 5 kilometers or 1.86 to 3.1 miles. Land deformation in the region continues, aligning with ongoing magma movement beneath the surface. On November 13, residents were briefly allowed back into Grindavik to gather belongings under the looming threat of a volcanic eruption. The IMO has observed a substantial magma flow rate and depth, though some uncertainty in these measurements persists. Despite the high probability of an eruption, recent data suggests any potential eruption in Grindavik might not be explosive, reducing risks to international air travel. In response, emergency crews have started preparing for a likely eruption by constructing defence walls to protect key infrastructure, including the geothermal power plant and the Blue Lagoon. In conclusion, the situation in Grindavik, Iceland is a stark reminder of the dynamic and often unpredictable nature of volcanic activity. The town's repeated evacuations driven by heightened levels of sulphur dioxide and significant seismic activity underscore the challenges faced by communities living in geologically active regions. The Icelandic Meteorological Office's vigilant monitoring and the proactive measures taken by local authorities, such as the construction of defence walls, demonstrate a commitment to public safety. Although the current data suggests a less explosive eruption, which mitigates some risks, particularly for international air travel, the situation remains fluid. The closure of attractions like the Blue Lagoon reflects the broader impact on the community and tourism. This event highlights the importance of continuous monitoring, preparedness and adaptability in the face of natural phenomena. Thanks for watching.